brothers and sisters from Mukankwe Central and around came to the Ghana Communication Technology University to undertake various programs within five weeks. And I never heard of a complaint from the school. So I, I stand here as a very proud MP. Very proud of you for making me proud today. Let me let me borrow from the first stanza of the university's anthem. That's how it goes. GCTU is on the move to a future bright and filled with hope. Thank you. Touching each and every one community and international partnerships, Ghana Communication Technology University, knowledge comes from learning. So, Mr. Vice Chancellor, distinguished guest, there's wisdom in your school anthem. And we're taking inspiration from the wisdom that we've learned and what you've imparted on the 350 graduates. This is not the only group that Buama and his team are doing everything in their will and power to impart skills, knowledge for their future development. We've trained this year alone, by, by the grace of God, have trained not less than 800 people here. <laughs> Today is a special day for you. Job creation, giving opportunities to the youth has been at the center of my politics. Serving the community and the country with all my heart and being a service-driven politician who is selfless to put smiles on the face of everybody regardless of his or her background has been my cornerstone and background in politics. So I beg of you, whatever you study here is for you, your future, and your development. I'll continue to support the community regardless of where you belong or who you are. Because I already know who will help me tomorrow. So Mr. Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, we are in the era of ICT. The world is talking about artificial intelligence. A statement was made on the floor of parliament. Various contributions were made. I participated in that. Let me give credit to the maker of the statement, Honorable Haruna Idrisu, former minority leader and MP for Tamale South. He delivered a statement. I made my contribution. Honorable Slausu, Communication Minister, contributed, Honorable Bon Kroma, and a few of us. What we are asking for from institutions like yours is to develop a clear framework in that area. One, there ought to be clear laws in artificial intelligence. Regulations ought to be developed. Proper rules ought to be set out. Because a couple of weeks ago, the European Union including made up of all their members, signed up to a common framework. Ghana need not be left behind in this area. I know most of you uh, solve questions or develop answers through what they call uh, chat word. Uh -huh, you know it. 
so we need to catch up with the rest of the world in the area of AI. And I want to entreat the university to be the leaders in that endeavor to ensure that Ghana takes the right benefits and opportunities from artificial intelligence. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we've been sitting here for some time. Let me use this opportunity to congratulate all of you, all of you, for being honorable, for being diligent, for being serious with a program that we put together for you. It's not going to be the end. I'm sure I'll be seeing you. Yes. We'll be talking some more. And to advance the frontiers of development within Okankwe Central and the country at large. Thank you very much. And God bless you. graduating class of this special training organized by the Honorable Member of Parliament for Kakwe Central, Honorable Patrick Yabuama. I must say that your effort will not be in vain for accepting the call of the Honorable MP to participate in the five-week training program geared towards your personal growth and dexterity. Over the past three to five weeks, you've had an exclusive opportunity to develop yourselves in a variety of ways, benefiting from training in key contemporary areas, including graphic design, web design, mobile phone repairs, as well as video editing and photography. These programs you have undertaken and successfully completed have equipped, equipped you with unique real-world skills that will serve you in ways that cannot be quantified. Through the instrumentality of the various stakeholders, the university has successfully trained 117 of you in graphic design, 65 in web design, spray in mobile phone repairs, and 105 in video editing and photography, making a total of 350. And all these were totally funded by the Honorable Member of Parliament. I'm confident that being here today, after successfully completing your respective programs, you will all appreciate the value of these essential traits. And these are hard work, perseverance, and dedication. As I mentioned earlier, the ability to think outside the box or innovate is the key to solving life's problems. It is said that doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results is madness. And I do agree. In view of this, you can't continue to do that which you were doing before you came for this program. But as you, have, you graduate today and you go outside there, be creative, adapt, show dynamism, question things, and take no for an answer. And most importantly, be your own critic in ensuring that your knowledge and your skills that you have gained from this program is put to good use. Never settle for just enough. Always push yourselves to do more. Mistakes are proof that you are trying. So don't be afraid of making mistakes. And when you get tired, don't stop. Only stop when you are done successfully. Never take this opportunity you have been given for granted. Always bear in mind that you are a privileged and select few. 
go out there to put the skills and abilities you've been given to good use to the betterment of your own personal lives, the growth of your community, especially the Okaiko Central Community Constituency Area, and to the betterment and growth and development of our nation, Ghana, as a whole. I wish you all the very best in your future endeavors. Congratulations once again. Thank you very much.